Living the Catholic life brings its own joys and challenges within the domestic family life. Our prayers, sufferings, and sacrifices mostly revolve around personal, family, or local affairs. Our prayer intentions also uh, involve these domestic topics and our relationship with Christ. Quest the question is, how important is it for our prayer intentions to also be about world peace or other topics well beyond our influence, as I understand that our duties are primarily our, uh, our, our vocations and those are our primary duties. How, is imp how important is it for us to pray for things that are, are beyond our own um, immediate concern, our, our, our vocations, and our control? I throw it to anyone who wants to. Feel I'll that. go ahead and start since I have to leave in just a couple of minutes. Um, I think it's really important. My, my family and I, we pray the daily rosary together every morning as a family, and then at, in the evening we come together again to pray uh, certain night prayers uh, that are just, you know, family prayers and whatnot. But the, um, it, when we pray the rosary, we always have certain intentions. And each of the kids, they, ch they chime in with whatever intention they have for the day or whatever general intention that we have. But... The, when it comes to praying for specific intentions, Our Lady did ask us to pray for peace. Okay, she did, she did ask us to do that, so I think that that's important. She wouldn't ask us to do that if it wasn't. Uh, she asked us to pray for the Pope. That's outside of our control. Uh, but she was very emphatic, pray for the Pope. And she's been emphatic in many of her apparitions, asking for prayers for the Pope. I think that that might be something that's important that we need to pay attention to. So yes, definitely, we should be praying for those things that are outside of our control, because what we're doing is we're, we're entering into the heavenly court, and we are appealing to the king of kings through his queen. And we're saying, we have a need. There is a need, and you have the remedy. You have the grace from the heavenly treasury to rectify the thing that we are praying about. So if there is a concern about peace then we bring that concern to our Lord. We ask him for the remedy through grace, and he provides it. And we, we should be confident, because Our Lady promised, whatever is asked of me through the rosary, I will grant. When my father was dying uh, a couple of years ago from hospital protocol, um, I was at his bedside, and my family and I prayed the rosary specifically for Our Lady to to draw his soul to heaven. And, and I asked Our Lady, because I said, Mother, you promised that what is asked in the rosary you would grant. So I'm asking you to ask our Lord for my father's soul. And whatever you ask our Lord, he will always grant. So I have a chain of custody now with the request that I made. And what's interesting is that he died at 358 p.m., two minutes before the end of the hour of mercy. So I have that moral certitude for his salvation, and it was something outside of my control. I couldn't save his life. I could ask for help, which I did. I couldn't do anything to preserve his soul, but I asked Our Lady to preserve his soul, which I pray that she did. So making those requests about things that are grand or things that are imminent and you know right before us i don't think that it really matters because what our lady asked us to do is to be obedient to pray for certain things and yes to pray for things that are outside of our control and she will do the rest we shouldn't worry about the result our lord is not a god of of results he's a god of fidelity and that's what we have to remember